right everybody welcome back again to my channel marvelous gap if you're new thank you for clicking on it give it a chance i hope you enjoy the video if you are returning thank you so much for returning i am playing hogwarts legacy and i'm about to do the welcome to hogs mead quest oh wow that's cool see what it is just look I'm so curious how the other houses look, you know? I can't wait to play them. And we're finally at Meet Natty near the entrance to Hogwarts. When I'm in Hello. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Ooh. They just gonna run. I off. was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbeer in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Is that the flowers? <laughs> oh, goodness. Look, from the forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. Where? I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Man, if I weren't recording this YouTube video for Hogwarts Legacy, I would just sit up here and run around and explore. <laughs> well, I don't know how long. I don't know how long I would live to me. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. What? I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area. I'm the king of Hogwarts. Just a long How are walk. you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar i'm getting used to things hogwarts has become something of a home now i would say hopefully it will for you too it already is daddy it already is mr moon he is the hogwarts caretaker looks a bit worse for wear have you met our new fifth year Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss and I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dudley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Oh, nice of you. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer, and you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. It's a wonderful thing to have in the village. Hogsmeade is very fortunate to have its own cauldron shop. Yes, it certainly saves the trip to London. I always enjoy a trip to 
Halo. Dia masih mister nih ya. Hello Ami. Hi. I think he he got the picture. Really, really nice. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience hugs meet at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Okay, Nadi. A chest. Roughhouser gloves. I stole from you. Hello. Oh, come in. Come in. Welcome to Madam Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly. Why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the ministry and I'm here thriving. <laughs> Absolutely thriving. But look at you. <laughs> look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. What? Looking for a change, are we? I just want to see if y'all got some better dread stuff. Why not, I say? What sort of change? Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. All right, visit tombs and scrolls. Tombs and scrolls. I know I hate first person, but this is something that I go with first person in every once in a while. Because it was meant for you to come up here and see it, that's why. <laughs> I saw that coming. Now you need I was gonna say I don't got magic, but right now I do. Like I didn't exist. Uh, hello. You don't see me standing here. All right, Mr. Thomas Brown. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda's student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then. I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. 
a potting table and a potion station. Yes? I yes. believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want when you want. Let's have a look. Okay. Oh my god. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Three. Potting table with a small pot. Spellcraft unlocks the ability to conjure a potting table with a small pot. Use its pot to grow all sorts of useful magic plants. Purchase. Small portions station spell graph. I so read that wrong, but okay. Unlocks the ability to conjure a small potion station perfectly suited to all of your potion brewing needs. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. I need money. Oh, now I gotta find out how to get some money. <laughs> All right, Thomas Brown, thank you very much. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Hmm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um. Ah, yes, yes, hmm, powerful core, ten and a half inches, hmm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. I got my wand! Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, hmm? how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps, yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. <laughs> Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, okay, this yeah. is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. That's how my thing look. Unbending. Hold on, I gotta go check because I did that um that thing online, and I wanna know if this the one they gave me. That ain't the one. This wasn't my one. Well, oh, that's a cool looking one. Yeah. I'm Intriguing. This is my one. I kept the unbending and the ten and three quarter inches that they gave me. Um, that black thorn wood type and a phoenix feather. Here we go. What do you think? Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. 
The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Mm -hmm. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Yay, I got my wand! <laughs> oh. I'm gonna take these. Uh, oh, and a chest. Perfect shirt and tie uniform. I am taking the closed caption off because uh, it, it it's it's distracting to me. All right. Next is visit J Pippin's potions. Book, one more book. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Thank you, Kylie. I'm gonna see what's in here real quick. Oh, wait, gold rim circular spectacle glasses. Rebellion. Yes, that's eight, right? Nope. J. Pippin's Potions. J. Pippin's potion, Potions established in 1753 is the apothecary in Hogsmeade where proprietor Perry Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. Wow. Am I reading that? Oh, that's all eight of them. Yes! All right, Perry Pippin. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Give me everything that's free. A Duris Potion Recipe. Recipe for a potion that causes a rocky film to develop in the consumer's skin. That don't even sound like... Ew. Duris Potion Recipe. Wing wield, wing and wield. All right, Perry Pippin. Thank you so much. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Is it the magic neat? Well, hello there. Hello. Chickens. <laughs> Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. 
I am choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo! Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dipney seeds? Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Of course. I lost the ability to grow Dittany in small pots. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Oh, I need some money. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Thank you, Timothy. He's there. Revelio. Accio. Magic Neat Cart. This cart belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magic Neat. He enjoys being in the thick of things and engaging with customers outside the shop. That was an abandoned, abandoned bath. Alright, I didn't see nothing behind that house, so. Wait, I see some right here. Rebellion! The pride of this abandoned shop is said to have used a shrinking charm to aid in storing his inventory. However, a slight miscalculation, oh no, ended up for all intents and purpose, banishing it. Not to me, in my sight. Money. Revelio. Oh, mirror. The mirror thing. Y'all want me to run around here to find a butterfly. Bad. He gave me well potion. Lumos. A tree. Two trees by a rock. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, there you are. Lumos. Well, Explored everything. Oh wow, he's just gonna drink it, huh? Mountain hogs here. This mountain hogs here rolls its eyes and snuffles its nose as it oversees the seedy atmosphere and decidedly. Interesting clientele of the hog's head. You're really drinking beer and eating peanuts. <laughs> You just get free food everywhere, huh? Revelio. Accio. Of the three broomsticks, early run by Serona Ryan and allegedly as old as Hogsmeade itself, the three broomsticks is a land stand, long standing gathering spot for villagers and Hogwarts students who want to enjoy a butter beer or fire whiskey. I take it I'm gonna have to come here. But she not talking to me. I'm just gonna um finish this out. 
なるあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっハウスミーアフタ。
having been driven from his home by muggle persecutors. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> that thing made me use up my potions. Oh. Oh my. Look like I got this, the, 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 the gift of sight. Honeydew Sweet Shop sells a variety of magical sweets from fizzing whiz bees to exploding bonbons. And I love me some bonbons and I wish the movie theaters would go back to selling them like they used to. All right. Oop, no, I didn't. Hey, it says speak to a shopkeeper. It ain't say nothing about no Natasha. Natasha, naughty. That's that her name is on the top. We were just talking about you. Who are you now? Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's Wizardwear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were, life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Could I be modest? That's very kind of you, Mr. Hill, but I can't accept robes that I didn't pay for. <laughs> Nonsense! I insist! Uh, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. No, thank you. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. Thank you, sir. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Zerona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. <laughs> 